Okay, folks, I'm going to take a minute out of the action right now just to mention we are on Facebook. Punch in RCTV on Facebook and check us out. Send in your pictures, send in your videos, right? Or if you want to just say hi to me or the cameraman or the producers or anybody on the crew, Facebook, folks, check it out. Welcome to Chatham Air Show, folks. We have a beautiful plane. Now, Peter, yeah. hey, Osh. Yes. I have not seen a jet like this. Tell me all about what kind of jet this is. Uh, this is the um, Dassault Aviation Falcon 7X. It is a fairly new model. Uh, it's manufactured by Aviation Design. It's full composite. It's got uh, carbon fiber, fiberglass, uh, composite material. It's driven by one single turbine, 42 pounds of thrust. The plane is 150 inch wingspan and 137 inches long, the fuselage. I got a Biotech 180 engine, which is a 40 pound thrust turbine in there. The plane weighs 65 pounds dry and 72 pounds weight. And it flies really, really smooth. It's a very scale flyer, so you gotta fly it gently and uh, be very gentle with it on landings. And, um, now, what's flight. it like in a little bit of a crosswind today? It's a little bit tough because the, you have a very large surface, as you can see, mm -hmm. for the rudder. It tends to push it quite a lot off the runway. But we managed it. We did three flights so far today, it's good. Now this was a actual kit, obviously, yes. right? Now yes. is it was it pretty pretty easy to build even though it was kind of like an RTR or was there a lot of work still? Yeah, that was a fair bit of work. Uh, it's a hollow fuselage, so you gotta build everything inside. You got airlines running from the front to the rear, you got fuel lines, you have electrical system running all the way to the tail, you have a light system, you have a cabin door system. I have dual receivers in there, dual batteries, and a full power management system. Now, was the center of gravity like pretty much built into this one? Because I'm looking at the back and it looks a little heavier. Uh, Did you have to do a little modification? Not modification, but weight. I have yep. 700 grams of weight in the nose to make the CG right where it should be. Uh, now, I noticed that these have the winglets on mm -hmm. it. How does that help with your stabilizing when you're flying? Well, for this model, probably not too much. For the real ones, I'm sure you know it does help a lot because it improves the aerodynamics of the wingtips. Now, where would you put the fuel in this plane? I'm looking for it. Is it all an internal? Yeah, the fuel, actually, to have access to the fuel, I have to, uh, I open the uh, cabin door. Oh, look at that. You even have a set of stairs right, there as well. Right, right. I charge my batteries from here. I charge the air system from here. I charge the fuel from here. Everything is done from here. Now, so where would the fuel go here on this side? This little... Okay, oh, the so fuel. there it is. So there's yeah. your fuel nozzle. Right. And right. then obviously you take the kerosene right. and well, you sit there with a pump. It's an electric pump, yeah. yeah. Electric. Now with the ailerons here and the flaps and everything, did you have problems uh, setting them up? Were they really different because of the length well, of the wings? Well, cutting was a problem because it's, everything is carbon fiber underneath mm -hmm. and carbon fiber is very, very hard, stiff, brittle material. I did the elevators, the rudder, the ailerons and the flaps. It is a bit of an advanced model. Uh, you have to fly it very scale. You have to fly ahead of it all the time. You don't want it to slow down. If it slows down too much, you'll be in real trouble because it's 65 pounds. Because I fly half power most of the time. I only do take off full power and that's it. And then half power all the time. Because it's such a big plane, such a big wing surface area, and that, uh, the that keeps it a lot keeps it, for. Yeah, exactly. So as long as you have power. As, as long as you, you have power. Right. You lose power, you gotta dive immediately to gain airspeed. So to all you jet enthusiasts out there, don't let go of your throttle. Yeah, you yeah, we, you, you gotta manage the throttle all the time. Yeah. Yes. This shouldn't be your first airplane. You know, you should buy something simple, get going, fly, enjoy it, uh, something light as well. Because heavy planes, if you do have a heavy landing with them, you will do damage. Yeah. So you don't want that. Now this plane here, right, is a scary question. What is the cost of something like this? With the, all your controls, the radios, you know, your 45 pound thrust, Biotech yeah, motor. yeah. How much would this cost? Well, if I was going to sell it today, I probably would charge twenty eight thousand dollars. Yes, twenty eight thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah, that's to, to take care of my labor. Yeah. <laughs> well, the kit is eight thousand, okay. right? The landing gear is two and a half thousand. The engine is four thousand. Oh my god! You, you gotta use high end servos, high end wiring, high end power systems, high end receivers. Yeah, you backup. Yes, yes, yes. So you're, are you I running a, a dual servo system? Uh, no, single servo, but dual receiver, dual battery. Oh, okay. I also have a fail safe for the air system in case I lose air, the gears come down automatically. Right. Hopefully. Well, Peter, what can I say? It's always a pleasure seeing Same, you. Talking, nice thanks talking. a lot. And thanks, Peter, for all the support for RCTV over the years as well. Thanks. Folks, this is, what it, this is what RC is all about. Dealing with craftsmen like Peter here, 
finding fantastic jets like this and coming out to these beautiful air shows like the one we're at in Chatham today, folks. Take care, we'll see you soon. We'll be back after this break. Take care.